Okay, today we are going to learn how to use the holes snappers and the holes speed cutter. I've already taken them out of the packaging because I really don't think I need to explain that. If I do, maybe you should not use a cutting tool like this. I have a Remo Ambassador drum head with a holes on it. Um, I wanted something that had more depth in the sound. So I purchased a Power Stroke 3. Originally, I had taken the previous bass drum head and placed on top and then just using a dry erase marker marked a marked the placement of the previous one so they would look identical. Unfortunately, I did not like the placement because of the reinforcing ring, so I took the cutter and moved it around to an area I thought uh, that would work better. To do this you're going to need some newspaper. Lay the drum head face side down. Find the placement that you want to put the hole. On the end of this cutter there's a nib and each one of these slots has a size increment uh, in the bottom of it so this spacing is for the 4 inch. Earlier I had pressed down and I found the placement that I wanted so now I just have to put that tip back in that hole so I have it right there and you just rock it back and forth until it cuts all the way through. You have to use quite a bit of pressure for this, but eventually it will start to cut through. This emblem that I had installed on it the other day, um, you're going to have to press rather hard to get through something like that if you have it installed on your drum head. Don't worry if you slip and remove the cutting tool from the drum head, just place the tip back on the drum head in the same spot and continue to cut. You can normally hear when it gets all the way through because you can hear a change in sound. You'll be cutting through the paper instead of through the mylar the drum head is made of. Eventually, you will cut all the way through with the cutting tool. And it should look like that when I press it through. Now, before we do any of that, the directions for how to install this are in the inside flap of your packaging. It says that you want to clean the head with some alcohol. So I have some alcohol and some cotton balls. So uh, just to make sure there's no residue or probably little bits and pieces of where you had cut. Also the alcohol will help remove your dry erase mark that you had on there earlier. So get that side with alcohol. Then the outside. There are little burrs from the cutting tool that are left behind. I don't think you need to worry much about them. Let that dry. And step one, it says to remove, use the female piece. Here's the male, this is the female piece. So it says that to attach the female piece first. So we'll want to do that as soon as this alcohol dries. I'll be back in a moment and we'll do that. 
Okay, so I have let the alcohol dry. I also noticed some of the burrs needed to be removed, and this was n the male piece was not wanting to fit in as easily as it should, and I was afraid the hole would rip. So I took an X-Acto knife and I just shaved around the head a little bit. Also, for the reinforcing ring, I took the X-Acto knife and I cut out around it a little bit more so it may have a little more freedom. So now I'm going to remove the adhesive backing. And then you just pr place it on the head. Okay. And then do the same for the male piece. Turn your drum head over. And then working from one end down and supporting it on the back side of the head, you should be able to snap this in. Okay, mine's not wanting to go in as easily as it should. And I noticed here that there's some plastic that needs to be cut away. So just use your X-Acto knife and at an angle, very lightly remove some of the material. Also, there's some here that needs to be removed. Now, if you don't have the holes cutter, you can always put down the female piece and use your X-Acto knife and cut away the access. Cut out the hole itself using that. Okay. Now I'll try to reinstall this. Make sure you push down on one end and then try to work that ring all the way around into the notch. See there it goes, you might have heard that snap. Then just continue pushing it around. There you go. If you want to try out your holes cutter and you're not very sure how it works, take an old drum head and select your hole size setting and do the same procedure. Before I used it, I tried it out on an old batter head. It split where I tried to, for one, where the head was so old and where I tried to force the male end without the female end on there, um, the drum head split. Also, I didn't take the X-Acto knife and cut off any of these burrs or enlarge the head, so that's the reason for that. I would suggest maybe doing this with an old drum head so you can get an idea of how it works, get a feel for the tool, and then you will be a little bit more confident in using the holes cutter and installing the holes itself. Thanks for watching. Please comment below and like the video, and leave some suggestions if you have any. Thank you.